Hey guys, it's your boy JC coming at you with a whole new video. Big ah, news, guys. Okay, so pretty much what I've discovered is Call of Duty is now releasing a reveal trailer for the next up and coming project right now. Call of Duty World War II. Okay, World War II. We're gonna have some Nazis, Germany. Oh my god, it's gonna be so sick. And you know it's gonna be good because I think they're going back to when Call of Duty was actually, I wouldn't say like better, but. I don't know, more warfare, less sci-fi, Star Wars, you know, flying through space type of shit. Like, y'all know I like Call of Duty, okay? I've played most of the games. I've played four, five, um, I've played Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Oh my god, I played all of them, Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. I didn't buy Infinite Warfare. I wanted to play the remastered version of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but... I didn't end up getting Infinity, um, Modern Warfare Infinity, so I don't know. I, I just didn't feel like playing it. So pretty much what I'm saying is, guys, I think we're going back to when Call of Duty was actually good, and I actually had the reveal trailer. I'm going to be watching it, obviously. First time we're going to be watching it. It came out today. It came out, it released in Canada, uh, I believe around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's 1, 1 p.m., so I'm a little late here. By the time you guys watch this video, it'll probably be like nighttime time you guys go to bed. Whatever. I want to watch this video, so let's just jump into it, guys. Gotta get comfortable. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. I don't know. Is that Nixon? No. Will be shaken with the violences of war. Who is talking? In this hour of great sacrifice. Hmm. We shall prevail. Wait, Sledgehammer's making this? Is that like Activision or Treyarch? Damn it. Oh. We are all that separates the world from darkness. Oh yeah. Mm. Ooh, this reminds me of Call of Duty uh, World at War. Wait. Feels like it is Call of Duty World at War. Yeah, they got the same scene here. I think this is Call of Duty World at War again. Then they just remade it. Feels like they remade it. No way. Oh my god, I think they just remade Call of Duty World at War. Because technically it was set, I believe, in World War II, so it does make sense. Mmm. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is Call of Duty World at War. Mmm. Let's go. Oh, they got the tanks. Yo, I wonder if you can drive tanks in this one. I want to know if you can drive tanks in this. You're a long way from Texas, farm boy. Hmm. November third. I'm ready. Pre-order now and get access to the private beta. Yo, guys, that was probably, probably, the greatest trailer I've seen so far for Call of Duty. Now, like. I don't know what I wanted. I, I'm having mixed feelings about this trailer. I don't know if this, I think this is gonna be a remake of World at War. If it is, they'll probably get rid of most of the glitches that were in World at War. They'll probably add A, new guns, B, new kill streaks, and well, C, just a whole around Call of Duty kind of feel. So I like this. I really do. I don't know how we're gonna, how the community is gonna react because. My generation grew up on playing Call of Duty from like World War, Modern Warfare, you know, trench, dirt in the trenches, not being able to like jump over cliffs and shit. No, not being able to run on walls. This new generation is so used to running on walls. They might find this a little bit boring or I don't know, a little bit tedious. I find playing Call of Duty when you can't jump on freaking walls and stick to the ceiling and throw grenades that follow your ass all the way around the screen and shit to be a lot better. It's Call of Duty. It's warfare. This trail looks cool. Graphics are gonna be like outstanding. Sledgehammer, I don't know. You guys kind of messed up on Advanced Warfare, which pretty much you know led to the downfall of like Call of Duty in general with the laser beam guns and like the glitches and oh my god, the amount of like headaches I had playing that game. I didn't even prestige in the game. I just legit played until like level 30, cut the game off, traded it back in, and legit later on block Black Ops 3. So I don't know. 
and Black Ops 3 I only played because I wanted to be sure to finish off 1, 2, and 3. So pff, I wanted to play the trilogy there. So whatever. I don't really care. Uh, Call of Duty, give me a shout out. I want to be able to play this game. I want to be able to have like first early access to this game. I want to be able to be like, yo guys, I played it. It's sick. Get it. I don't care. Pay your like $80, whatever. We'll get the prestige. We're going in. World at War. Yo, if it's the remake of, War, of uh, World at War, oh my god, the amount of like, first of all, that game had split screen co-op. You can play the game co-op mode with a whole bunch of random people or play split screen with your friend, which was sick. You can also drive vehicles. Like, I believe just a tank though. I think it was just a tank you could drive. Yeah, it was just a tank you could drive. You had dogs, legit rabbit dogs that would follow you everywhere. You only had, I think, three kill streaks, but it was whatever. They'll add more. They can always add more. If I think Call of Duty has now changed to the fact of they've now gone to the peak of what they can do sci fi wise and, like, you know, non fiction wise to, yeah, they can probably, you know, tone it down a little bit, go back to what, you know, made them so much money in the first place and actually, you know, make something great. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, that's all I'm saying. If you guys like my video, subscribe to it. If you don't, well, then don't. I'll see you online. I'll, well, you know, I legit just pull out an AK and be like, yo, ra -ta -ta, you know, swag, bitch. So we good. We good. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. Thanks, guys. Peace.